Hi, my name's Alex Waterton, a Microsoft Certified Trainer with F-Keys, here today providing you with some how-tos, shortcuts and tips with Microsoft Excel 2013. So let's get started. Okay, so what we have here is a set of um, cells, uh, of which there are three labels, uh, Excel, Word and PowerPoint. And our object of our exercise here is to fill uh, Excel through the empty cells until it meets Word, uh, fill Word through until it meets PowerPoint, and vice versa, PowerPoint, until it reaches the end of the list to the left. Now, this is a small data set, so here are a number of options of how we can do this uh, with small data sets. Initially, the first option is to select B4, place our mouse cursor in the bottom right hand corner of the selected cell and then hold the left mouse button down and drag uh, the range through down to cell B8 which will then fill the series. Now another option for this is to place your cursor into cell B9 but alternatively where most people do left click on the bottom right hand corner and drag down manually um, you can physically just double click with the left mouse button and it will automatically jump down until it either meets a blank cell to the left hand side or it meets another data label which we have here um, which is prevented to go further down from that another alternative is to select the range including the title that you want to move down and then holding the control key on your keyboard and pressing the letter D will cause the data to fill down. So that's three options. So that's click, right mouse click in the bottom right hand corner and drag down, click in the cell, double click to fill down till it comes to a point. I won't do that because it will go through PowerPoint as well on that occasion because it's populated. And then highlight the range and press Control D to fill the series down. So that's how to do a short set or a small data set. We're now going to move over to fill cells two sheet. And this is a range whereby we might have a large data set. So this might not be um, rows uh, B4 to B17, but it might be B4 to B1017 um, for a range. So how we would we do that? We would first of all select the entire range. In this case, B4 through to B17. We then press Control G or F5 to display the go to dialog box. In the dialog box we have a button which is special dot 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 meaning that it will give you another dialog box and by clicking special it opens the go to special selection where you can select items that you want it to physically go to. In this case we want to select the radio button for blanks so that it selects all the blank cells Pressing OK will then give us the entire range of the blank cells immediately showing below each of the uh, selected labels that we want to fill down. We're going to enter a formula which is equals B4, sorry, B4, um, and this is a relative cell reference. And if I just press the Enter key, what would happen is it would only do the cell formula in that cell B5. But we don't want to do that, so we're not just going to press the Enter key. We're going to hold the Control key first and then press the Enter key. And this will then put the formulas in all of the blank cells that we've actually got selected. And it will be creating a formula which looks at each of the cells above and puts it in. So as you can see on the formula bar here we have these as formulas. Now that's fine but we do not want that to remain as formulas so in order to resolve that and make it values I'm going to select B4, I'm going to hold the control key and the shift key down together 
and I'm going to use my down arrow on my keyboard and press the down arrow key once and it will highlight the entire range. If that was down to the cell B1017 then that would fill out and select that range. So we then need to do control C which is the copy command and then on the right mouse button into the shaded area under the paste options we have the option to paste values and if I click values that now has exchanged the formulas to contain data and all my job is done. So if I press the escape key to remove the marching ants and click in any of these you will see that they have been replaced with the data values rather than the uh, formulas which we started off with. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed this video tutorial and we'd like to invite you to visit our website at www.f-keys.co.uk also to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our Twitter handle is at fkeys, F-K-E-Y-S and we look forward to meeting you again soon.